everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be talking you through a vlog. On Monday the 18th of July, me and my sister decided to go to London. We went down just for a couple of days and we thought it would be fun if we vlogged it but unfortunately when we got there we both didn't feel very well and um, we both had really bad headaches and just didn't feel very well in general so that had an effect on the amount of vlogging that took place um, basically I filmed some clips but they probably won't make any sense if I just like put it out as a video now so I thought that I would sit and talk through what we did and then show you the clips afterwards because that would probably make more sense at least I hope it would anyway. <laughs> we started at the Mentone Hotel and then my sister had like done a little route out on her map that she'd picked up and on the route the first stop was UCL, the University in London. The reason why we went there was, well, basically my sister wanted to be a bit nosy um, and let's face it there was a poker stop there as well so you know, it sort of killed two birds with one stone. <laughs> she wanted to go and I was not complaining. <laughs> Got a few free um, poker balls from there, so thank you University College London. Then we moved on to Oxford Street, which is where the phone sort of went back into the pocket and Pokemon sort of was stopping being played because hey there's shops and who doesn't like shopping so we went in Accessorize, Zara and Tiger the like stationary Scandinavian sort of shop I did get a few things from there but I'm not going to show you because I have planned a July video like a July haul video which will be going up obviously at the end of this month and you'll see what I've bought in July so keep your eyes keep your, not your aisles, keep your eyes peeled for that and you'll see what I got then. We then realised that there was like no time for lunch, um, we went and got a meal deal from Boots and my sister wanted to go and sit in Hyde Park like right at the end of Oxford Street and eat lunch there but then we realised we were quite a way from uh, where we were going, the ITV studios so we decided to abandon lunch in Hyde Park and then we just sort of walked very swiftly across like the entire of central London <laughs> to try and get to the ITV studios and bearing in mind this was like in hot heat it was very hot basically it was the day before the hottest day of the year and you could tell it was warming up we managed to get to ITV studios in time we had like about one minute to spare <laughs> but the reason why we were in ITV studios was because I'd got some free tickets to go and see Stephen Mulhern he is recording a new show called go for it and we got some free audience tickets so we decided to go down and watch him so we were probably like this far from him like really close. We were sat along like one of the back aisles and he just like came walking along the aisle so he like passed my knees um, and yeah he was a really lovely guy actually and he kept apologising for messing his lines up and he said thank you for your patience a lot and yeah he just seemed like a really nice guy. Unfortunately we obviously couldn't film inside the studio otherwise I would have but apparently if anyone had got the camera out then a massive security guard would have come and escorted us out of the building so I didn't exactly want that so I didn't get my camera out um, but we were in the studios for three hours which was a really long time and you weren't really allowed to eat or drink anything and it was hard knowing when to go to the toilet because they kept like turning the cameras on and off and doing takes and stuff so it was quite difficult and I came out feeling so drained and just like even worse than when I went in um, but I sort of sat on the grass and had some water and a chocolate bar and eventually felt a bit better. Also when we were in the studios they said that um, they really liked our particular audience apparently 
Um, so they did a lot of audience shots and they said that they'll use them like throughout the series. The series is called Go For It, I don't know if I've mentioned that, but it's a new program called Go For It where people like um, do interesting challenges like this one guy was trying to um, name all of his sheep whilst blindfolded and they all had like little name tags on and then Stephen would rip the name tag off and it would say if he'd got the name right or not and he just had to identify him by like feeling him. <laughs> it was a bit strange to watch and it took forever to record as well but it was really interesting to see how it all worked. So the particular show that we went to see is being aired on the 27th of August I think so I might be on the telly then and I also might be on the telly for a few other Saturdays by the sounds of it because they said that they were going to use uh, um, like audience shots throughout the series so I might be on TV more than once and people will probably think why have you gone multiple times in the same clothes but no it's just the same audience shots <laughs> promise I've not been more than once so back to after the ITV studios and sitting on the grass. Um, we were then approached by a French girl. I don't know how old she was, but she must have been old enough to travel on her own because she was on her own. And um, she asked me if she could message her friend on Facebook off my phone because her phone was like, dead or something so uh, my sister was like no sorry my data's run out it hadn't actually run out she she was just lying because she didn't want this French girl to have a phone but um, I was just like yeah yeah whatever just have my phone who cares if she runs off with it didn't actually think about that should have done <laughs> but um, she was absolutely fine she just logged in and messaged a friend and she was apparently going to the Globe Theatre to meet her but then as the girl walked off and it was about five minutes later the person who she was messaging was messaging me and it was like popping up on messenger like um this is my postcode and stuff and because i know a bit of french i was like reading the french trying to understand what they were talking about um so i just had to send them a message like uh sorry your friend has been using my phone to tech to like message you and she's gone to the Globe Theatre about five minutes ago so there's nothing more I can really do so this other girl was just like okay thank you and yeah I don't know if they managed to find each other but I hope they did <laughs> so after the French girl incident we then had a slow amble to Zizi's the Italian restaurant and we asked what the quickest like thing on the menu to have was because it was seven o'clock and we were then going to see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory like the big theatre production and we only had half an hour to get some food and then like rush to the theatre so the woman said spaghetti bolognese was the quickest so we both had spaghetti bolognese and we were in and out of Zizi's in like 25 minutes which is probably a record probably I don't know but it was pretty fast like the quickest meal I've ever had out ever <laughs> um, so yeah we went to Zizi's then we went across to the theatre and we were like one minute late and just missed like the start bit but it was fine and then we had to skip the end as well because our train was at like 20 past 10 I think and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory finished at 10 and bearing in mind we'd got to get all the way to like the top of London like the north of London so we left there about quarter to 10 and missed the last 15-20 minutes of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory I was actually really amazed at how much like time and effort had gone into all the production and like the props, the set, all of it would just look amazing. It looked like part of the actual film and it was really good and I'd recommend it no matter how old you are because it was really good. So then as I've just said we rushed back to the station and we got home for one o'clock in the morning and I was knackered for like the next day and the day after and I'm still quite knackered today. So yeah, I will now show you the clips of the day. 
I hope you enjoy them. Hi guys, Sophie here. I just nicked Han's camera. Uh, she's just doing her makeup and I'm already ready. So uh, I'm just waiting on her really. I'm going to spy on her. Hey Han. Finishing touches? Yeah. I'm not very good at putting lipstick on, so maybe just fix that. Hello everybody, I am doing a vlog today because I've not done one for a while and me and my sister Soph, there she is, back for a third video in a row I think it is. But yeah, we are going, well we're in London at the minute because I got some free tickets for a new TV show that Stephen Mulhern is presenting. He's one of my favourite people so we thought why not go and see him in the flesh really. So we're going to go and see that later and we have also booked some tickets for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory which should be good. We're going to see that production later on. And we got the train down here last night and we got here pretty late and we checked in all fine and we booked a twin room but we ended up getting this room and it's got like four beds so we think it must have been like the only twin room left or something but Soph ended up sleeping in the double <laughs> on her own anyway and then I slept next to the window because it was so hot up here and it was so hard to sleep wasn't it? Didn't get much sleep but hey ho, we're feeling pretty fresh today, we've been down for our breakfast, we had a full English and some cereal and stuff, it was all free and part of the price and yeah, this is what we can see out of the window, I think we spotted the shard last night, let's see if I can find it, I think it's just that little pointy bit there. So yeah, not too far from the shard. We also um, struggled to sleep because it was like really light through these curtains. But then when I pushed them back this morning, I realized that there was a blackout blind, which we probably should have pulled down. But to be fair, it was pretty dark in this room, wasn't it, when we came in? So let's just blame the lighting. And this is our little bathroom, but you know, it does the job. Just a shower there. So yeah, that is our room tour. We're now going to go out and see what we can find. We've got uh, the showing thingies at two o'clock, is it? Yeah. So we've got a few hours. It's now just gone ten. So we've got three or four hours to have a casual amble in the direction of Stephen Mulhern's thing and see what we can find, really. So, let's go! So I told you I didn't film much, <laughs> but yeah, we had a really good day and since I've been back, I have had my first driving lesson, which was interesting. Um, nobody died, which is always a positive, um, but I think I'm okay with like the steering and when I'm actually like going driving, 
but to like start the car up and start and like brake and to stop the car I just can't get my head round like the clutch and stuff but it's only my first lesson so I've got two more booked next week and I hope I will get my head round it then I also might go out with my dad as well and he can like help me practice a bit more because I don't want to be like really really bad but um, my instructor said that I seem really good and that I'm going to be fine anyway because I've got good clutch control or something even though I don't understand the clutch I've got good clutch control so that's always good I suppose <laughs> I will keep you updated with all the driving shenanigans and whatnot but yes anyway thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did sorry it was a bit of a mishmash but next week's video will be back on track as normal. So yes, I will see you then. Bye bye.